I'm Katie Yeoman reporting for Katie Chats at the Female Eye Film Festival in downtown Toronto. I'm here with writer-director Karen Lamb. How does it feel to have your feature film Evangeline here at the Female Eye? It is so exciting. I so love being embraced by female directors, uh, like a female film festival that's, that's aimed for female directors and filmmakers. And tell me a little bit about Evangeline, about this poor girl who goes through a very, very traumatic experience. Um, it's actually, I, I, I was really inspired by a lot of the, the college rapes and, the, and the, the problems that are going on right now. And I hope that the film actually, um, I, I, I hope it actually reaches the, the audience that I really want it to because it's actually happening. And um, we are in a culture where this is happening more and more. So um, I would say that it's sort of like her worst possible nightmare of just a few simple choices that have gone wrong. And I think that um, the horror comes from how close it could happen to any of us. Absolutely. And when approaching a subject like rape, I mean, how do you get into that? It's very sensitive. How do you approach it in the first place? It's actually, it was actually the, a, pivotal, a pivotal scene in the film, and it's something that I gave a lot of thought to. When you're a female director and you're dealing with something like rape, what they say is that if you don't, like, say if you don't show it, they're like, it's because you're a girl, you're a wuss, you can't show this. But if you actually really sexualize it, then you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing, so I don't see any point of doing that. So in this case, what I really wanted to do was to show her perspective on it, and so the rape is actually from her POV rather than from the male POV of her wiggling on the ground and that sort of stuff. So we really try to keep it internal and to keep the dread, you know, all, all in all in her head. Absolutely. And are there any, um, is there anything that female directors face on set? Any challenges that you think, do you think it's different from when a male's directing or do you think it's equally the same? Like, or, you know, what are the dynamics like? Well, I think you have different skill sets and different strengths. So for me, I'll never be like kind of the big bully on set that's like, hey, this is the way I'm going to do it. But what I do have is the ability to hopefully get everybody on board and people get really excited because I'm really excited about the yeah. film. And I find that my actresses actually really feel comfortable with approaching me on questions about their character. And we, I think that in things like a rape scene, I, you know, hopefully everyone feels a lot more comfortable because, you know, that's, that's how you approach it. As, as a woman, I don't want to show something that I'm not comfortable with showing, so it's, 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 you know. And what's next for you? I have a feature film called Inspiria, and um, it's actually heading off to the South, uh, South Korean Film Festival. There's a genre festival, and it's one of the projects there, and Evangeline will be screening there as well, so I'm really excited. And where's the best place for us to follow you and find out more information on your projects online? I am at KarenLamFilms.com and uh, my Twitter handle is OpiatePix with a P-I-X. So uh, that's me. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. And it's lovely seeing you again. You too. It's so nice to be on Katie Chats. <laughs> Woo! I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Female Eye Film Festival in downtown Toronto.